Hello everyone, uh, this is Mr. Allen. I hope everyone's safe, everyone's doing well. And today I wanna to go over identifying mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, and amphibians. Now, um, yeah, I, didn't, I don't believe we've gone over this in too much details in class. So I want to go over the definition of each with you and some interesting facts. All right, so amphibians. What is an amphibian? amphibian an amphibian is a small vertebrate, meaning it has a spine. Vertebrates just meaning it has a spine that have moist skin, live in water, or moist environments to survive. And examples would be frogs, toads, salamanders, and newts. Um, they all have moist skin and a living water and need moist environments to survive. So that is an amphibian. Uh, birds are a group of warm blooded vertebrates. Again, all that means is that they have a spine characterized by feathers, toothless beak jaws, and a laying of hard shelled eggs. So when a bird has a, um, or produces an egg, uh, it's not alive yet, they incubate it, and then throughout that process, it becomes alive. So um, fish, scaly skin vertebrates that swim in water and breathe using gills. So um, an IXL is really going to um, depend on scaly skin, or is really gonna be looking for that definition. So fish, scaly skin vertebrates that swim in water and breathe using gills. Uh, mammals are warm-blooded vertebrates that have here or fur, and they birth live young, and they feed them um, milk, they feed them young milk. So mammals, their um, children or their offsprings are live, when they're born and they also survive off of milk from the parents or from the mom. And reptiles are in a scaly waterproof skin and they birth eggs. So yeah, reptile scaly waterproof skin seals and they birth eggs. Now, um, that means that's interesting fact, bats. Based on what I said, bats, would you say, what would you characterize bats? So which one of these would you identify them as? Now, a little bit about the bat. It has um, here or for, and it does feed its young milk. Bats do feed their young milk and they do have fur. Or here, I would say. What would you characterize those as? Believe it or not, bats are mammals. Yeah, even though they can fly, they do not have um, feathers. And there's no such thing as a featherless bird. All birds have feathers. So yeah, even though they can fly, bats would be char characterized as mammals. I thought it was interesting. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to actually go over some imagery with you. See if we can figure these out. So it says select the reptile. So if we were to go back to what we, so the reptiles are scaly waterproof skin, um, skin and they birth eggs. So they don't, it doesn't say that they breathe through their gills. It just says they have scaly skin, waterproof skin. Um, so what would that be? Would it be the green, moray eel, the tiger salamander, the harbor seal, or the western rattlesnake. Hmm. Let's go over them some more, uh, if we were to break it down. So if we look at the green moral eel, um, and scaly skin, but it swims in water and breeds using its gills, so I don't think that would be that option. A tiger salamander, um, the skin is it's a little bit deceiving, but I believe it would be more moist skin or uh, living in a um, water environment. So I wouldn't call it exact scales. Um, the harbor seal, that's, hmm, that wouldn't be a bird, so it wouldn't be an amphibian, it wouldn't be a fish, because it doesn't have scaly skin. It more has hair or fur on it. 
I think that would be more be the mammal. And then Worcester rattlesnake, I believe would be the only real option that's saline skin that is not moist. So saline skin, boom, there we go. All right, select the amphibian. We have an Asian elephant, a salmon, a olive toad, and then a barn owl. So what was the definition of amphibian? Again, if we go back, it's gonna be lives in water or moist environments to survive, and small vertebrates. They include frogs, toads, salamanders. So we see uh, salmon is fishing. Salmon is fishing. Well, the salmon is swimming in water, so that's more breathing through its gills, which would be a fish. Asian elephant is an Asian elephant. The barn owl has feathers. Well, this is a mammal. The barn owl has feathers, and then the olive toad is in a moist environment. We can see that it's not breathing in water, but it's in a moist environment. So I believe the olive toad would be the best choice for amphibian. Select the fish. We have a mandarin fish, an emu, a giraffe, and a barking tree frog. I feel like they just gave us the answer because the word fish is actually in there. So we're just gonna keep moving with that one. Select the mammal, there we go. So we have a California newt, a red howler, a red crowned crane, and a red headed poison frog. Now, looking at these four images, and then going back to the definitions that I have, which ones do you think it would most likely um, fit under? I'm just gonna underline these to differentiate them a little bit more. Okay, I think the mammal will be the California newt, red howler, or red crown crane, or a red headed poison frog. If I were to say it's a red-headed poison frog, that's the mammal. Would I be correct? No, I would probably be incorrect because this is more of a amphibian. It would be the red howler. That would be the mammal. That was five questions? Oh, not four in a row. Okay. All right. So like the two birds. So we have a robin, an American alligator, a keel-billed toucan, and then a fruit bat. What would be the two birds that we're looking for? What's the definition of the bird? Again, we know it has to have feathers. It has lays eggs. And what else? What's this say about the bird? Feathers, toothless jaws, and group of warm-blooded vertebrates. Mm, so which one of these have toothless jaws, feathers, and if I were to say, I believe the toucan, I like the toucan, and I were to say the fruit bat, would I be correct? No, I'd be incorrect, because as I went through in the beginning, fruit bat is actually a mammal. It is not a bird, even though it can fly, which is, a lot of people are, um, don't know. But yeah, I believe the robin and the keelbill toucan would be two birds also. So like the two reptiles, we have a giraffe, a Herman tortoise, a seahorse, and a leaf-tailed gecko. So reptile, what's the definition for reptile? Uh, scaly waterproof skin and they birth eggs. So which one of these has scaly waterproof skin and birth eggs? No, the giraffe, scaly waterproof and birth eggs would more, mm, I don't think they birth eggs or have scaly waterproof skin. The Herman tortoise, oh yeah, they are waterproof. The skin scaly, uh, it's leaning towards scaly. The seahorse, I wouldn't really refer to it as scaly and it is breathing water as it's underwater. So that may have knocked out the seahorse. And then the leaf-tailed gecko, um, yeah, is more, a gecko is more along the lines of like, um, lizard vertebrae has that 
scaly skin. It lives in moist areas. If I were to say the leaf tail gecko and the Herman tortoise, would I be correct? Awesome. That would be. All right, select two fish. All right. We have a humpback whale, a California toad, a clownfish, and in a thresher shark. Now, which two would be a, considered a fish? So we can already, it has a word fish in there, so we can already add that. Now, would it be a California toad, a thresher shark, or a humpback whale? Now, what did they, what did I say was the definition of fish? Now, scaly skin, vertebrates that swim in water and breathe using gill. Scaly skin. So which one do you believe would be more scaly skin? A thresher shark or a humpback whale that have scales? I wish you could really open the image so you can see more. But the California toad, I don't believe it's scales, it's more of a moist skin. The humpback whale, I don't believe it would be scales either. It's more, the skin texture is more, I would say like dolphin like, where it's not really scaly. So I would say thresher shark, that'd be correct. All right, I probably should be warning it, but whatever. Um, select the two birds. All right, so we have a bald eagle, an emu, a Madagascar de gecko, all right, got it. In a Suriname horned frog. Interesting looking frog. It's like the two birds. What's the definition of a bird? Has to have feathers, has to have a um, toothless horned beak, and has lifeless, I'm, oh my God, I'm sorry, not lifeless. It has birds' eggs. The birds' eggs. And I believe, yeah, toothless, beaked jaw, yeah. And then laying hard shell eggs. All right, so which one of these has feathers or a jaw, a beak? So I, which one do you think it would be, which two? Now, if I were to say, um, I think the Suriname horned frog and the emu, would I be correct with these two? No, I would be incorrect because this doesn't have feathers or the jaw. And I believe the bald eagle has feathers, the emu has feathers. And yeah, this is more moist skin. So I would say the bald eagle and the emu, would I be correct? I would be correct. All right, so like the two reptiles, we have a fire salamander, a emerald tree boa, a elongated tortoise, and a human. So select the two reptile. What's the definition for a reptile? Looking for waterproof skin. Am I correct? Yeah, scaly waterproof skin. Yeah. So which one of these has scaly waterproof skin? Hmm. Scaly waterproof skin. What if I were to say the human and the emerald tree boa? Would I be correct? Uh, no, I'd be incorrect because humans don't have scaly waterproof skin, but elongated tortoises have scaly waterproof skin and salamanders skin are more moist or water. So in the fire sound it would be more of a amphibian. Am I correct? I am correct. All right, so I don't want to go through all of them, but the basic is I want to use um, the definitions that I have here and then just break them down which one seems more uh, relevant. I think the only one that we haven't really gone over is amphibian. That's why I gave you examples as well. And yeah, you're gonna look for these characteristics for each. Um, with birds, it's gonna be warm-blooded vertebrae, just meaning it has a, um, a spine. Characteristic by feathers, toothless, beaked jaws, and enlarged hard shell eggs. 
fish are scaly skin vertebrates that swim in water and breathe using gills. So it has to swim and breathe using gills to breathe underwater to be a fish. Uh, mammals, warm blooded vertebrates that you have here or fur and birth live young and feed their young milk. And then reptiles are just scaly waterproof skin. So like turtles, 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 and so on. Um, yeah, uh, if you have any questions, you know, definitely come back here and then uh, look at this example or reach out to me. But for these, it should just be these five and then just breaking down how to differentiate them. Yeah, so thank you and you guys have a great day.